I'm pretty sure it's just over here. I mean, the, uh... The pointer is pointing me in this direction. You know, it's only right now that I'm realizing how much, um... Distance blur I actually have on. A lot of, uh, a lot of the content here in New Vegas is, um... Well... How do I put it? A lot of the world design, a lot of the places that uh, the game has you, and the quests, have you running around, are kind of short. Uh, you know, there isn't a, like, a real distant way out. I see Kazar's doors over there. Um, there's a... There's basically a whole lot of short distance going on in a lot of the game. Do not trust it. I don't want to get... I don't want those Kazar doors to uh, sneak up on me. Ooh. Oh, crap. Talk about stutter. Um... Yeah, but uh, it's it's only right now that I'm out in, you know, a place that's kind of flat and doesn't really go out that far. What the heck? Yeah. And uh, it's only now that I I've got, like, a good grand view of distant land. Not something that you get a whole lot of in this game. Because, uh, you know, you spend so much time in cities and ruins. Uh, of course, that could be said for a lot of other games. Anyways, uh... This is my destination right up here, just as uh, Dr. Hildern of the OSI at Camp McCarran sent me, and uh, Red Lucy sent me uh -oh. here as well. Stay break. out. The, oh. Doing a good job there, V. Let's just take this off. Stay out, the plants kill. That's what it says on the board hey. back there. I guess. Oh. I'll just let V take care of it. Good job. I, uh, I can't be asked to mess with this. Uh, I am gonna... Oop. Jeez. Doing a good job. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna be forced to switch from explosives once I go inside. Because, um, explosives in close quarters doesn't work. Vault 22. The jungle vault. Let's head inside. Oh boy. I just love these places, don't you? Nothing like a dank, rusted-out bunker. What do we have over here? Ooh! A Programmer's Digest. And a, uh... Clearly a little station up here. Take the 10 mil rounds as well. And, uh, I'll leave it at that. We've got a terminal over here. Let's check, uh, what's on it. Vault 22 Expedition. Entry 1. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running, and I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none of them have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Vault 22 Expedition, Entry 2. The growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was on to something after all. Since my Pip-Boy is on the fritz, I'll try to leave a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. You know, one thing that I really have to say about this vault that I enjoy Ah, elevator. Is the fact that it's a lot easier to navigate than most of the other vaults that I've ever run into. Um, primarily because it's just one big column, you know exactly where you are, because there's one place that, I mean, it's, it's one big column of stairs and an elevator shaft, and that's how you get between all of the floors. Um, granted, there's some extra navigation that goes on, you know, further, deeper in, because there are cave attachments to this place, uh, lest I be mistaken. Ooh, frag grenades. But, um, because it's all centered around the elevator shaft and the stairs, it's... it's very easy to navigate this place, or at least that's what I find. Aha. Uh, another terminal. Let's check this. Vault 22 Expedition, Entry 3. This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants, with a concentration on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Vault 22 Expedition Entry 4 It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systematic pressure have been bypassed. Vault Expedition Entry 5 
I've been hearing a strange chittering sound for some time now, and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantis that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the other scent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to experienced mercs. Okay. I'm gonna start running into the little nasties that are down here. Oh, jeez, another terminal. Lots of stuff. What do we got? Noise complaint. Could maintenance look into the ductwork here on level 2 again? I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up on it this time, too. Alright, so... Noise complaints in the vents. Clearly that's part of what went wrong down here. Looks a whole lot like they, um, were doing experiments on creatures as well as plants. Personally, I'm not entirely certain how safe I would feel around a place like this. I mean, um, it's not something that I, you know, trumpet about, but it's also not that much of a secret. I am not a fan of fungus, okay? Like, I think that mushrooms are disgusting, and, um, I refuse to eat them in, uh, any of the food that I consume. And, you know, I'm talking IRL right now. Like, mushrooms. Yuck. Um, but I'm not a really big fan of plants. Um... There, I mean, there's nothing really particularly wrong with them, but I'm not an or I'm, I'm not an or bleh, God, I'm all tongue-tied. I'm not an outdoorsy type of person. So, you know, I'm I just as well, uh, pretty sure that I'm done with this level. Let's take the stairs down. Okay, um, what was I saying? Um... Uh, I'm not an inherently outdoorsy type of person. So, oh crap. Oh god. Spore creatures. Okay. Yes, uh, finally. Everything is coming up Veronica. Yes. Um I've switched her to melee because that's exactly what she excels at and there's no reason to waste um, ammo in the, such a close quarter area. But I'm not a big outdoorsy person. I'm, I'm not that big of a fan of uh, plants. I don't like them in my house. Ah, another terminal. Vault 22, Expedition Entry 6. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appeared to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious. At least to ghouls. Vault 22, Expedition, Entry 7. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. Oh my god, another terminal. Just hearing stuff crawling around. Alright, let's, let's check what's on this baby. What's this? Food production subsystem. Interlab network. Security request. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 1846 today and still hasn't returned, requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a search. Medical emergency. We need a medical team up here now. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who is horribly wounded. When I asked them where the other security officer was, he just paled and shook his head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. Help! Is anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off... Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the common area, I'm officially in charge of this level, and I am requesting security at once. Just waiting for some of the got more creepy peeled. plants to show up. You got your eyes peeled for what, V? I don't see anything around here. Of course, then again, I might just be blind. Um. Whoa. Oh. I think I passed by this thing without even noticing it. I've had worse. I'm not a big fan of these spore creatures. Not because they're creepy or anything, but because they're, um, food additive. Uh, they don't carry anything. Restored terminal. What's this? Interlab Network Food Production Subsystems. 
Status report 9228. Yields continue to improve. Splicing together cultivar GN188 with the existing corn samples has produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is in fact sick. Status report 9253. On a lark, the guys down in pest control sent up a sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. Also, quite a number of staff have begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover. But at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. Still looking. Status Report 9312 not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it's in extremely bad taste. Okay, common areas. Oh no! The stairs! Oh my god, I completely forgot that that was the case. Okay. Well. Let's go further into the level, see if there's anything around here. Ah, yes. Now I remember the common area. <sighs> Sounds like there's a broken generator just uh, below me. Oh boy. Okay, let's crack this open. Let's go through the bathrooms first. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright. What's in the stalls? Looks like there's gonna be a spore creature in one of these. Open the- Ooh! I think it's in this one. Yep. Whoa! It's a little bit, uh... Morbid. There's a runt in, uh, one of the bathroom stalls. I, in essence, I think, just killed a mutated child. <laughs> That's, um... That's as close as, uh, they ever get to letting you kill kids in these games. But, you know, that's something that kind of makes me wonder what the... Is there a game out there right now that lets you kill children as part of the content? That's a bit of a... <laughs> Mushrooms out the toilet. Uh, that's a bit of a, you know, sensitive topic, the concept of being able to kill children in a... in any type of a si situation. So, it kind of makes me wonder if there's a game out there that lets you do it, like a commercially released game, not a mod, but a, 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 commercial, a commercially released game. Um, and if there isn't, what will the first one be? Aha, the Overseer's Office. Now, unless I've been mistaken, um, there's nothing special that you can do with the Overseer's Office in this particular vault. Um, but, there is this terminal over here, so let's activate it. Vault 22 Interlab Network, Overseer Node. Unlock Crew Quarters. Unlock Data Backup. Unlock Cavern Access. Error, override engaged at door site. So be it. But anyways, I mean... Um... Uh, it's just one of those things. I'm curious whenever we're gonna see it, and if it's there, you know, what game does it already. But more, more than that, it's a question of... How... how is it, or how would it be handled? Because it's, you know, rightfully so, a sensitive topic, the concept of, um... being able to harm children just as much as you do, uh... adults in games, but... I don't know, maybe that's, uh... It's not a topic that, uh, I'm here to pass judgment on. I'm just kind of curious about it. It's, um... one of those things. Anyways. Uh... Do we have anything else uh, around in the kitchen? I mean, there's a lot of fresh food down here. I would love to take this stuff, but, you know, I've, I've talked about this before. I don't want to take stuff that I really shouldn't have. Well, I've, I've got more food than I need. That's kind of the point. Looks like there's nothing left in the mess hall, so... And I guess this would be the bar. Uh, new Coca-Cola fridge, which is empty. Shouldn't have opened it. Um, empty sunsets. Oh, jukebox. If I hadn't disabled the radio, I wonder, uh, what would be playing. Cave fungus. That's useful for making Hydra. Radix and Stimpak. Let's 
see now. Vodka, wine, whiskey, and scotch. Still fairly well stocked. Wouldn't catch me dead drinking, uh, such ancient alcohol. The stuff does go bad, even though it's supposed to, uh, even though it's not supposed to. <laughs> oh, wouldn't catch me dead trusting the stuff. Fancy lad snacks, Veronica's favorite. All right, um, pretty sure that that goes down to the lower level. So I guess I'll check this back here. This must be like um, a lounge. Yep, sure enough, it's like a pool room. What are you looking at here? A little bit conspicuous. Nuka Cola machine? Or no, Sunset Sarsaparillas. Okay, um, let's crack into the terminal here. Vault 22 Interlab Network. Guess what trivia game? <laughs> Vault 22 Expedition Entry 8. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. Vault 22 Expedition, Entry 9. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Okay, so there is the broken generator. You gotta watch out. I know that there's some nasties hanging out down here. There we go. I'm lucky that it's not aggroing right away. Good on you, Veronica. Use that punch fist that I gave you. I mean, in all honesty, you could definitely do with an upgrade. Pushy isn't a bad fist, but... Um, I think it's pushy that I gave her. Uh, pushy isn't a bad fist, but I could really do with giving her... Flamer fuel. That's good. I could really do with giving her the ballistic fist, which is the best um, single punch weapon in the game. Let's crack this open, and uh, let's check this uh, terminal. Vault 22 Interlab Network. Maintenance help system. Ticket 1. Strange noises. Problem. Noises in vents. Action. Sent a team to inspect. Result. Source of problem not detected. Ticket 2. Gas leak? Problem. Reports of possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Action. Complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Result. Discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters just in case. Alright. Found myself a flamer. This is gonna come in super handy. And some MF, MF cells? I'll give those to Veronica if she... Actually, I'll give them to her now. There we go. Okay. And, aha, now with all of my hotkeys sorted out, I'll be able to burn these useless plants. Get rid of the, uh, menace which exists down here. Alright, I think that I'm getting close to being able to head down, um, into the final level. And I'm pretty sure that, um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's one over here. Careful, V, I don't want to catch you on fire. Dead? Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Uh, I need to check these plant piles really closely. Oh, jeez, they blended well. Walked right up on that one without noticing it. Cripe. Okay. Um, it's empty. Let's check over this extra thorough. All right. This is the reason why you never trust plants, people. Try to do what's best for them, and you find out that it's not what's best for you. Ah. The medical bay. There's probably something interesting to be told about them here. Tweezers and forceps. I'll take the jet. Something fell through the table. Here we go. Vault 22 Interlab Network Patient Case Database. Case 162. Patient Peters Harrison T. Condition. 
Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, the result of the spread of some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. Case 164, Group. Patients, Mitchell, Cordella, Horton, Fujimoto, and Derrida. Update, this entire group showed up throughout the course of the day displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. Case 162, update. Patient, Peters, Harrison T. Update, Dr. Peters isn't responding to the treatment, or more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened, and I'm on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. Case 173, group. Patients, Elizabeth, Marcia, Hayes, Herman, Veronica, James, Robert, Amanda, Donald, Iris, Stephen, Yolanda, Kelly, and Nicholas. Update, another group with chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending that they be separated from the general populace. Case 162, update. Patient, Peters, Harrison T. Update, Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of his host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. Case 162, update. Patient, Peters Harrison T. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up for the day, the next Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee from the office and seal him, or it, inside until security arrived. But what the hell is going on? If all of the recent illnesses are the same thing... My god. It's a clean bunk room. I'm amazed. Sarsaparilla, more vault suits. Oh god, I'm gonna make so much money off these vault suits. Fantastic. All right, one more room to check down here. Then I'll uh, hop up the stairs. Hopefully make my way down into uh, the belly. I think I'm on level four right now. I uh, can't quite remember. Aha, here we go. Just take it all. Um, if I am on level four right now, I will be able to uh, head down to level five in a minute here. So... Oh, God. Good job, V. Jeez. Uh... Something just occurred to me. I could really do with, um, giving her a helmet. Like a proper helmet. Instead of her having to wear that hood. Trouble. You wanna finish it off? You really do excel at it, V. I mean, one of the great reasons why I keep you around. Uh, Vault 22 jumpsuit. Uh, bed. Pre-war book. Nope, looks like there's no, not much of anything over here. And, um... Ugh! Ugh, change your bed sheets. God, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ugh, I hate fungus. It's disgusting. All right, um, I managed to pick up the key that I need to get into the caves below. I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack to uh, one of the higher levels and go into the sealed caves.